Where are we going? Hmm? What's this quest? Disband citizen group protest? Oh, that thing. Yeah, Isty was all blah blah some citizens' rights group during her lecture. How did she? Are you saying I listened harder than you did? I guess you were mumbling at the TV screen a lot. Th that was just your imagination! More importantly, please tell me about this group. If I must, leave your higher education to Professor Nepnep. Some folks are calling for the CPUs to resign, saying they want to enact their own laws or something. Oh, actually, I think I did hear about them the last time I went out to do some work, I believe. It's led by someone named Ray Wright, isn't it? Oh, is it? I'll come clean and admit that I was winging my explanation because I barely listened to the lecture. Last I heard, they weren't causing any sort of trouble. But since the guild has issued a quest, maybe they're becoming more active. Such hijinks, I say. Who could survive without us CPUs? But things have been fine, even with all of us slacking off. That makes it a tough question to answer. Yep, Junior. You're still so wet behind the years. The important thing is that folks feel safe with CPUs around. Whether we toil our bums off or not is second to merely existing. Work totally doesn't matter. I wouldn't go that far. But you're right. I can't question the importance of CPUs when I'm going to become one myself. I'm sorry. Well, just so you understand, Let's go break up those picketers by protesting their protest. Yeah!
says how our lives would be wonderful without CPUs around. Yo, get out my way, lady! Uh, sorry, sorry. Pardon me. Please accept this informative pamphlet. We need to have proper laws, not CPUs. Mommy, what's this lady mean? Hush, don't look at her. Come along. Oh dear, no one will take them. And I spent all night hand copying over a hundred of them too. We were supposed to have formed a large rally today, but not a single participant showed up. Maybe this is a waste of time. Nobody would follow someone like me anyway. No, I mustn't waver. I'm definitely doing the right thing here. I think, maybe. All right, I won't return home until I've passed out each and every one of these. That's my decision. Hey, protesters, what do you think you're doing? Oh dear, I'm sorry. So, so sorry. Hmm? Are you the only one? We had heard that a formal group was showing up to protest. Uh, well, that... That was the original plan, but nobody came. Oh, so you're passing out those pieces of paper all alone. Um, whatever the case, we received a complaint about it, so we must ask that you stop, miss... Oh, yes, sorry. I'm the head representative for the citizens group, Ray Wright. Um, if I may ask... Who are you? You seem vaguely familiar. Wait! No way! You're Miss Neptune and Miss Nepgear, the CPU and CPU candidate! Ah, go me! <laughs> Even random people on the street recognize me now. Well, you are a CPU after all. Still, it's embarrassing for someone older than us to say, Miss. <gasps> what have I done? I made the CPUs themselves come out to punish me. What should I do? No! I'm sorry! Oh, please don't run! And she's already out of sight. <laughs> this is the majesty of a CPU. People see me and run for their lives. I get the feeling she was just a cowardly woman, but okay. She mentioned that she represents that group, so maybe they aren't a big deal after all. Uh-huh. Isti was using all her processing power to overanalyze things again. I'm trying my hardest? Even when I'm just human? Even though I'm powerless? You guys act the same way. When I first found this one, I laughed so hard I puked. We may act the same way, but she's giving it her all. I hesitate to even give it a try. Uh, yeah. If you don't start to entertain me pretty soon, I'm gonna die from boredom. Um, I have a request. Would you listen to it? Huh? What is it? My power. There isn't much left. But will you please deliver what remains to her for me? I don't mind. Why the heck do you want to do this? It may sound odd coming from me, but... I want to cheer her on. Is that not a good reason? Am I being too demanding? Mm, whatever. I'll make an exception. Just this once. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you better be grateful. I'll get the ball rolling now. Yes, please. Maybe I'll give it one last shot, too. <laughs> Things are about to get real interesting. My new duds look awesome on me, right? But, uh, they didn't have any shoes my size, so they're my old ones.
Home now, Neptune? You bet. Since we worked like hogs today, Isti has to have calmed down. We're home! We're back! Welcome home, Nep Nep! Welcome home, Gigi! Wow, so the rumor about you two getting to work was true. Maybe it'll rain milk tomorrow. Hello, Ayaf. I didn't know you and Kampa would already be back. It's rare for you two to get back from work before us. It's not that it's rare. You two are always holed up in this place being lazy all day. Kampa and I have careers to go to every single day, unlike you two. Ouch. Your words sting like a cactus. You can scold them later, Iffy. Dinner is almost ready, so I must ask that you two go wash those hands. Kampa's delightful dinner. Ayef and Kampa are my sister's oldest and closest friends. They're like unofficial roommates. But of course, they're my close friends as well. Ayef is a guild agent. She's very responsible and has a lot of fun scolding Neptune. But however mad she gets, she still feels like a kind and sweet girl. She's really cool. As for Kampa, she's a nurse by day and comes to the Basilicom at night to handle household chores. I'm so awful at those sorts of things, and I do feel bad about her doing it all, but... Whoops, dinner's ready. I'll stop narrating for now. Be still, my aching stomach. Kampa, your cooking gets better with every bite. I do my very best so I can see your happy reactions, Nap Nap. So, how'd it feel to get some work done? We were a little rusty, but we didn't have too much trouble. You did not attempt to visit the other nations in order to slack off, did you? What? No! Where's the faith, Isti? Don't be obvious or anything. We did our work properly. We even met the head representative of the citizens group. Oh, them. I've been hearing a little about their more recent activities. Are they big meanies? Nah, they don't pose a threat. There aren't many members, and they don't do anything illegal. They just pass out pamphlets and give little speeches on the street. Yeah, the representative didn't seem like she was into it either. <laughs> Whatever. Iffy said it's fine, so Isti, you're worrying over nothing again. The mere fact that such a group exists is indeed a problem. This is all due to how you act as a CPU, Neptune. Yikes! Did I kick the hornet's nest? Now, now. If we start a lecture, our dinner will get cold and yucky. Fair enough. Please continue to perform your CPU duties tomorrow as well. Wait! Tomorrow? I mean, I really worked my heart today, so I figured I'd take a few days off. Did I ask a question? Roger. <sighs> Where am I? Getting
being shooed away by the CPUs, and then getting lost after running. Oh, why am I like this? I'm such a screw-up at everything. But it's, it's not like I'm doing anything wrong. Or I don't think I am. All I'm asking for are proper rules and regulations in a world without any CPUs. But nobody wants to join me. Even if people gather around, they ignore everything I say. <sighs> Maybe I should just give up. It's an impossible dream. Far too ambitious. Someone as pathetic as me, trying to defy the CPUs. <laughs> Ugh, I finally found you. Looking for you got me lost for ten damn days. I can't mock you now. Hmm? You're just as hesitant as she is over there. You both falter at the slightest hiccup. Is someone there? I am. Duh. Where are you looking? I'm right over here. You say here, but I don't see anything. Uh-oh. I'm finally losing it. I'm starting to hear voices inside my head. No, you're hearing my voice. Look over here. You keep saying that, but I really don't see anyone. Huh? Man, you and her are equally slow on the uptake, too. What a pain. Huh? A small girl is... You're floating in midair? Ah! Ah, don't frickin' scream like that! Man, you scared me! Uh, I'm sorry. This is a strange situation for me. How can a girl as small as you even exist? Oh, I've really lost it. I'm seeing things that aren't there! I'm not a damn hallucination! Shut up and listen to me! I yes, I okay. So... This is really happening? Um, who are you? Do you have business with me? Duh, why else would I come out here? I'm here because she asked me to be. You better be grateful. She? Who? I'm supposed to give this to you. She's not using it over there, so it's all yours. Enjoy. Oh, um, thank you very much. Huh? What is this dark blob of energy? You ask too many questions. Stop talking and chew on this! Ch chew on it? No matter how you look at it, this isn't food at all! I... I don't want it. I'm not hungry right now. If I tell you to eat something, you better open up like a good little birdie. Come on! No! Don't make me eat it! Stop! <laughs> open up wider! This baby's going down in one go. <laughs> there you go. All done. How you feeling? <laughs> hey, I asked you a question. You gonna ignore me now or what? Hey! <laughs> Why are you foaming at the mouth? Oh, she passed out. Oh, damn it. If I leave now... That might make things super interesting for me. Okay, I'm ditching this broad. <laughs> Did I fall asleep? And in a dirty place like this? Oh no. Not only did I get lost, but I fell asleep in such a place. How pathetic am I? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? I think I have heartburn. I don't feel very good. I better hurry home. I need to crawl into bed.
on my after image. by myself. I don't know what to do on my own. Well, props to Noir. I'm not envious that she handles loneliness so well, but I can respect it. Uh, where am I? Whoa, is someone retching nearby? Uh, yikes, I'm sorry. So, so sorry. Uh, I, I mean, is, uh, is someone there? Oh, good, I'm saved. Please help me. I've been lost for such a long time. 
Well, howdy, my duty. You're that citizen group whatever from the other day. Uh huh? Ah! The, the, the CPU! No, no! Don't run away again! Honestly, I don't care who you are. I just need someone to hang with. J joking? Please let go of my collar. Oops, my bad. You okay? Uh, why, why would a CPU be in a place like this? Because I'm working hard, like the dependable and exemplary CPU that I am. Um, honestly, I don't think that's true. If it were, I wouldn't have formed my group. <gasps> my pride! You've got a pretty razor blade tongue, huh? I, I'm so sorry. I said such rude things when I haven't the right to badmouth you. Eh, I don't care. Did you say you're lost? Uh... Have you been lost since you ran away yesterday? Huh? <laughs> That's amazing. You're a savant at poor navigation. <sighs> I guess I shouldn't worry about it, but you're that group's leader? <laughs> How's that uh, going for you? Bad. It's not going at all. I see. Just as I deduced, that actually helps me out. If you were super dependable, I'd have to work even harder to prove you wrong. No need to point out the irony. I'm totally dominating this chat, huh? You say words now. It must be fate that we met again, you know? <clears throat> why do... Why do you... Uh, can't hear you. Try turning up your mouth volume. Why are you so blunt? I'm clearly in distress, but you... Huh? Are you trying to sound angry? Oops, sorry. You're right. We just met, so I shouldn't be so conversational or whatever. Why would you apologize to me? How do you remain so composed? Well, what the heck, man? How am I supposed to act? I already know more than anyone just how much of a sad sack I am. But why do I have to hear it from a CPU's mouth? Why? Whoa, I think I flipped a very weird switch in her brain. He appears never around at times like this. Great, now she's crying on my shoes. A grown woman totally just started bawling in public. If I think about it, I'm indirectly at fault, huh? Hurry. I said sorry, so stop crying. Uh, please. My reputation will tank if someone sees this situation. You apologized again! Why do you insist on mocking me? <laughs> no good. There's no consoling her. But now, I kind of feel like crying. Someone. Anyone. <laughs> CPUs shouldn't... <laughs> CPUs shouldn't... <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I'm a CPU and I shouldn't have been rude. Stop crying, okay? CPUs should all just disappear! Oh, okay. If that's all it is, I'll just disappear on back home. I don't normally mess up like this. I mean, I'm supposed to make folks smile, not cry like that. Hmm? Holy smokes! What's that dark ball thingy? It's creeping me out! Hey, stop it! Get off of me! ZPUs! ZPUs! Should disappear! Sucked into it or something? Nope, I'm falling in! But why? Disappeared. Damn, hardcore. You've already gotten the hang of that ability. Of uh, what ability? Me? I did this to the CPU? Yeah. <laughs> Freaking awesome. This is way more interesting than I thought it would be. Uh, I. I did this. <laughs> I did it. Me. It was all me. Getting pretty late. 
Maybe I shouldn't have let her go alone. Please, hurry home, Neptune. <laughs> 